Hello everyone. In the previous video, I explained about the linear search and in this video, I'll explain the binary search. In the previous video, I already explained what is searching. Searching is an algorithm used to search or find one or more than one element from a list or a data set. And two popular algorithms are linear search and binary search. In linear search, a number or an element is searched by comparing it with each element in the list one at a time. But in case of binary search, it is basically a divide and conquer method. So let's see what is binary search. Binary search basically works with the sorted array or list. So it has to be a sorted array which is mostly considered as sorted in an ascending order. And binary search follows the principle of divide and conquer. That means it matches the element with the middle part then divide the whole list into two halves. And when an element to search is present in the list, it shows the location. And therefore, it is better than the linear search technique as the number of iterations decreases in the binary search. Now let's see how does it work. The search starts with comparing the target element with the middle element of the array. If the value matches then the position of that particular element is returned. Now, if the middle element is greater than or the target element is less than the middle element, and then the second half of the array, that means the numbers larger than the middle elements are simply discarded. Then again, if the item to be searched is greater than the middle element, then the values lower than the middle element, that part of the array is discarded. Then repeatedly it keeps checking until a value is found or the interval is completely empty. So just let's check an example. Here we have an array with seven elements and we want to search for number four. The four is here, target is four. So for implementation of binary search, we have to decide the low and high bound. The low will be the first element that is the lowest value because we already know that the array is already sorted in an ascending order. So first value will be considered as low and the last value will be considered as high. Now by the rule of binary search we will directly go to the mid position of the array which is 6. So 6 is the middle position. Now we can see that 4 is less than 6 so we have to consider only the array which is lesser than the value of 6 that means the left hand side portion and this portion that is 7 8 9 array will be discarded so in this array again we have to consider lower and higher key so for this sub array again we will choose the middle element now the middle element here is 4 and our target is also 4 hence we found our target value now in case we were looking for different numbers suppose 3 then again we have to divide the element into two halves so Basically, it keeps dividing an array into two halves and look for a particular element based on the 
value of the target value and the middle value. In the next section, I'll go to the program part.